Today we explore the 20 best seeds found this week in Minecraft. We've got Minecraft's most beautiful village, two mansion islands right next to each other and loads of super rare structures. There's so much to uncover. Stick around to the end to discover a mountain range that you'll never want to leave. But first, check out this seed which has the most breathtaking mountain dome you'll ever step foot in. From the cherry forest all the way up to Minecraft's max height limit, these are some of the steepest snowy slopes you'll ever see. Climbing up these slopes, you can find a village with a house up in the peaks that has an unbelievable view. Just imagine all the things you could build in here. Fly across to the peaks on the opposite side, and you can find a second village in this amazing location which even has a stronghold underneath it. There's even a cave up on the slopes that leads you directly to a skeleton spawner. But that's nothing compared to the caves you can find on this tropical mountain island. Make your way through the amazing open entrances and just take a look at how much lushness is exposed to the surface. With an island covered in moss blocks and bamboo forest, this is one of the lushest and greenest spawns you could wish for. There are so many different parts of the cave to explore, and there's even a tunnel that leads you down directly into a lush ancient city. The ancient city is likely the deepest structure you'll come across on your adventures. And this pillager outpost is probably Probably the highest structure you'll come across. With a secret base camp high in the sky, the pillagers tower over a village in the middle of the lake. You might think these villagers would be safe being so far down, but I've seen a few pillagers taking a ride down the waterfalls to get to them. Hopefully they fall into the sinkhole before getting to the villagers. Take a step back and you'll find all this craziness in a stunning location. Surrounded by meadows, forest and mountains, this is one of the most beautiful yet unbelievable locations in Minecraft. What's even more unbelievable is this seed, which has super rare, infinitely repeating features that literally go on forever. From lava-filled ravines that give you an unlimited supply of mine shafts and exposed ore, to an endless stretch of dungeons that will have you stocked up on loot and DXP. I've seen a lot of comments asking for dungeon seeds, so a seed with an infinitely repeating skeleton, zombie and spider dungeons might be the one for you. But let's head back above ground for this next seed that has a village with an incredible backdrop. I can't think of a more peaceful start to a Minecraft adventure than hanging out with some villagers and sharing a view as amazing as this. Maybe you could expand the village up into the mountains to create your own civilization that surrounds this giant lake. There's also a lake on the opposite side of the village where you can find a jungle temple island. But if this village is too chill for you, Check out this village, where a giant ruined portal has completely destroyed a pillager outpost. It's crazy how we're still able to discover things in Minecraft that have never been seen before. Unfortunately, it looks like the pillagers are still spawning, but maybe you could use this portal to somehow trap the pillagers in the nether. Also, in this village, you can find some alleys inside of a house, a witch hut, and a fully intact shipwreck docked on a nice stretch of beach. But if you're having trouble with some of those hostile mobs, you might want to try this seed, which has one of the biggest hostile mob-free zones you'll ever spawn next to. Take a short slide across from the frozen ocean, and you'll quickly come across a mushroom field that stretches over 4,000 blocks, containing around 3.43 million blocks of mycelium. In this seed, you never have to worry about losing hearts ever again. That is, if you're not prone to fall damage, like me. Unlike the last seed, this one is far from safe, because this is the most dangerous woodland mansion you'll ever enter, and I'll show you why in just a second. You spawn right next to this dark oak mountain dome that also comes with a meadow village and some exposed caves to explore. Make your way inside of the mansion and you'll soon find it overrun with pillagers because an outpost has somehow managed to generate fully encased inside of the mansion. At least the pillagers are trapped inside so these villagers can enjoy this mountain dome in peace. And if mansions are your thing, then this will be the perfect world for you, because this Minecraft seed has five woodland mansions all within 2,000 blocks from spawn. Finding one mansion within this distance is rare enough, so to have five is incredibly lucky. Got a group of five friends wanting to start a survival world together? You should definitely give this one a try. Here's all the coordinates to the five different mansions. Two of them are even super close together. You can get from one mansion to the other in under 20 seconds by boat. Before we move on to the final 10 seeds, here's another insanely, infinitely repeating seed that you need to check out. 
This one has a snow village near spawn with a hole in the middle of that village that drops you into an infinite ravine with a fully exposed stronghold. Seeing strongholds in ravines exposed to the surface gives me flashbacks to before the 1.18 update. With this ravine packed full with infinite resources, this village acts like a perfect entrance and base camp to store all of your loot. 10 seeds down, 10 more amazing seeds to go. Still to come, we've got the most beautiful mountains you'll ever step foot in, a super peaceful village surrounded by Cherry Grove, and even double mansion islands. But first, if you're down for a tropical survival challenge, you should give this jungle spawn a try. This jungle biome forms a perfect circle that is entirely surrounded by badlands, and in this seed, the badlands is lava. How long do you think you could survive here at spawn without ever leaving the jungle? Maybe build a castle up in the mountains to look over all of your farmland in the sparse jungle below. I'm sure there's enough resources here to keep you going for a while. So if you want an even harder one biome only survival challenge, try spawning in this small patch of snow that is entirely surrounded by swamp. Right in the middle of the snowy circle you can find a village, but just to make the challenge a little more difficult, the village is abandoned. Test yourself to see if you can bring this village back to life without ever touching the swamp. If you could only survive in one biome, which biome would you choose and why? Let me know in the comments. You won't be limited to biomes or structures in this next seed because you spawn right next to loads of structures and loads of warm biomes. Right at the start of your adventure, you've got a desert village with a giant ruined portal and and a jungle temple, giving you access to a new dimension and plenty of loot. And just a stone's throw away from that village, you've got another village, but this time with a desert temple. There's also a cave system to explore next to the village. But that's nothing compared to the caves you can find at spawn in this next seed. This world starts your journey in a beautiful meadow mountain valley with a village, an outpost, and a ruined portal. Head through the caves at the start of the valley, and you won't believe the terrain that you're able to find. There are huge lush caves exposed to the surface, huge spacious caverns that would be perfect for an underground base, giant lava lakes down in the deep dark, and so much more to explore. With so much potential both above and below ground, you'll struggle to find a better spawn than this. And just when you thought spawn terrain couldn't get any more amazing, this seed comes along that spawns you right on top of a windswept ice spikes mountain. Not only are there ice spikes that extend all the way up from the surface to beyond the clouds, but there's a snowy village that climbs up this incredible terrain too. Challenge yourself to see if you can connect all the different parts of this village with bridges and stairs so that you and the villagers can reach the houses at the top and take in all of these amazing views. Something else that is amazing to look at is this mountain island. With a large lagoon perfectly positioned in front of the mountain, it's almost like this island was custom made. Something else that seems too good to be true is the fact that the island has two villages that are connected by a cave that opens up where the mountain meets the lagoon. When you're in this village with the ruined portal, just descend down through the caves and you'll quickly pop out by the abandoned village on the shore of the island. This cave is perfect for connecting the villages and also building a secret base. You'll have plenty of resources to build too because this island has five different wood types including cherry wood. And this is the most beautiful cherry grove village spawn you'll ever come across in Minecraft. This seed spawns you inside of this breathtaking crater where a village sits perfectly in the middle of the lake entirely surrounded by steep cherry grove hills. With a super deep lake and a cherry tree fortress, these villagers have definitely chosen a well-protected and eye-pleasing location. Beyond the cherry walls, you'll find meadows, rivers, and flower forests. This could be the most chill village spawn I've ever shown you. I didn't think that terrain could get any better until I spawned into this seed with the most jaw-dropping mountain coast I've ever seen. You begin your adventure next to this unbelievable frozen mountain bowl that I'm sure is going to inspire a lot of creative builds. Follow the coastline and you'll soon head through bamboo jungle that leads you up to a sharp stony peak mountain range. Whether you're into building in unique locations or just exploring through amazing terrain, this seed gives you the perfect spawn to do both. You won't have to build anything in this next seed because you spawn with your feet planted directly on top of a woodland mansion. Rise up and you'll find that this spawn doesn't have just one woodland mansion, it has two, with each of them having their own dark forest island. Randomly spawning on top of a woodland mansion is incredibly rare. Spawning on top of a woodland mansion on an island is even rarer. Spawning on top of a woodland mansion on an island next to another woodland mansion island? The rarity is not even worth thinking about. 
But for the Minecraft players who prefer to build their homes from scratch, we found the perfect location to do it. Check out this beautiful closed mountain valley with a deep frozen lake right in the middle of it. On one side of the lake you've got a flower forest and unbelievably steep snowy slopes. On the other side of the lake you've got a mixed forest, a meadow and an exposed cave that leads you down to a mine shaft and just an extra jump will lead you down into an ancient city. I'd love to know what you could imagine building here. Let us know which seed was your favourite by leaving a comment and let us know which kinds of seeds you'd like to see next. And if you want to check out even more amazing seed discoveries, click on the next video.